Okay, what is up? I'm just doing my breakfast thing right now, eating breakfast, and then we are gonna train chest today. There's the breakfast. That's what it looks like. All right. All right. All right, here we are on our way to the gym. It's uh, about two o'clock. Right now, I'm gonna train bench like I said earlier. So, a uh, couple weeks left. I think my deadline for this, um, these, these lifts are probably gonna be pushed back about a week just because how training has gone and um, how some things have gone. So, you know, the weeks and how I've been taking my breaks and stuff has pushed, pushed things back a little bit. So, um, it looks like I'm gonna be making these attempts actually maybe like April, first week, end of the first week of April. So, that's how that's going. Um, so we're gonna see how today's bench feels and, and whatnot. I, I haven't been eating very well. My appetite has been it's been terrible. Just not hungry. So um, I'm trying to force feed myself and get down the food, but it's just not there. So I'm we're, we're, I'm curious to see like what's gone, what's happened with my strength. I'm curious to see what's happened with my strength. I've lost another couple of pounds, um, which is good in a way. Uh, I don't feel like it's muscle. Uh, I just see that my body's getting tighter and looking better. Like I said, we're gonna see how it affects my strength. So let's get this shit done and see what's up. All right, Troy. Yeah. What up? I gotta turn down the music, bro. You, you, don't, have to, you don't have to turn up. You don't have to turn yeah, on the music. Right, <laughs> Come on. How's the workout? How's the right workout? Workout's good, bro. Workout good. Yeah. Try to get big like you one day. You know. Not happening. When I grow up. Not gonna fucking happen. When you I already up, ahead. Bro. You already ahead. No. You already ahead, bro. I'm just a old guy <laughs> with three little babies trying to maintain. That's it, bro. It's my homie, man. <laughs> it's my homie. Tracking you right now? Oh, yeah. Yes, Shoes today. I'm benching and lifting shoes. <laughs> 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 it feel retarded. I think I might. I might even just take these off and train bare feet. I love training bare feet. Yeah. It feels weird, man. I don't like shoes. Period. Yeah. 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 This is real island. I'm an island boy. <laughs> Sony's tracking is lit.
had no re- good reason. Like they were just, it was like one of the biggest YouTube podcasts. It's impulsive. Yeah. And they were giving them like financial advice. Yeah. Not even advice. Like yo, like, like save some of your money, you know, because this yeah. doesn't last forever, kind of thing. And they took offense and they stormed out the show. And since then, it's been downhill. Yo, I didn't know there was an uphill trip. Well, yeah, because when that dropped, yeah, apparently they went, they went viral. Yeah, they would have. But they got, they got millions, and they were charging like six hundred bucks on Cameo for people to talk to them. So they were making a lot of money on Cameo, apparently. So Just every, to talk to them. Yeah, yeah, for people to talk to them like on video chat. They were charging six hundred bucks, right? And you can talk to a lot of people in a day. And then now, but now it's down to like 100 bucks. <laughs> yeah, but charge 600 bucks for what? What would people want to be paying 600 dollars to them for? You can pay 600 dollars to talk to Michael Jordan. You do it. You got Michael Jordan. Yeah. Not Island well, that, Boy. But, like, so, so, not so, so, the Island Boy. For some people, Island Boy is like, oh my god, you know? No. <laughs> you know There's what I mean? nobody. Not for you or I. No, there's something wrong in your life. There is, bro. If, if, you, if you are thinking, oh my god, there is, Jeff, there is the Island Boy. There is, bro. There, no. <laughs> I refuse to believe that. You, you want to know how I can I can tell you that, bro? When you blow up, yeah, and your two blows up, yeah, and you have fifty thousand subscribers, yeah. you're gonna have you're like, oh my god, Mike, I love you. And you're like, why? I'm just like, I'm nobody. <laughs> but you're gonna have some little kid from the U.S. who's gonna be like, I want to be like Mike. You know what? To to not. That's just how it is. Okay, I, I hope this doesn't come out wrong. I'm not saying. I think you're right. I think I'm just fine. Whatever. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I think I can bring more value to somebody's life. A hundred percent, you can. A hundred percent, you can. So I don't know if that's even a good comparison, bro. No, a hundred percent, you can. What are they gonna? What? What can you learn from them? When you Nothing. look at those two, are you like, what? Nothing. We'll learn something from Nothing. these guys. But people like there's kids out there like, yo, they're so cool. No. I'm not a boy. Nah, bro. I'm not cool. They're not cool. Nothing. My name there. is Chai. <laughs> Try to me. <laughs> I agree, bro. I agree with the ribs,
It was an embarrassing wrong. moment. It was an embarrassing moment, to say the least. Why didn't call my landlord? I'm like, those cameras work? I like, want that footage. <laughs> I don't. Because it would Erase been... that footage immediately. No, I want that. That would be fucking hilarious. That would go viral. <laughs> My top set at 385 felt pretty good wasn't that wasn't that bad actually felt pretty easy I think I was it felt easy enough that I got overconfident within the lift and I probably could have pushed more but I kind of like laid back if that makes any sense so now I'm just gonna do my down sets at 325 um, it says the program says two three sets of two but I might do a little bit more of that I don't know, I'm feeling like I want to push a little bit. Like I said, I've had a kind of like a week where I've slacked off a little bit. So I'm going to try and push myself just a little bit now. I'm not going to do anything crazy and kind of like exhaust myself completely, but I'm going to push myself a little bit more than what the program is specifying for today. And then we'll get into whatever else we need to. I think there's some floor presses in there, some triceps, some back, and then that's a wrap. 
All right, first set of AMRAP. I just did an AMRAP at 325 and got nine. So we'll do another one and maybe just get like four this time. You need to look up? Okay, bench day is done. Ah, uh, went okay. Went all right, happy about it. And now it's time to eat, finish up the rest of the meals. Um, I don't know what you guys think so far about the strength program. If you want to kind of see more details about what I'm doing and I'm gonna start including more of like the rep ranges and the weight load and the percentages and stuff in the videos so you guys can see how I'm loading this and how I'm progressing and start just giving you more information, um, posting like my workouts and the block periods that I'm doing so you can kind of actually see what it looks like and, and um, what I'm supposed to be doing for those days and how those numbers look. Um, and then you can kind of have a better idea on how to follow along and whatnot. Um, so the weight is still coming down as you guys saw for the video and I'm happy about that. Doing a little bit of cardio, doing a little bit of conditioning stuff. So I feel like I'm moving a little bit better. How I do, what I basically do now, how my day looks is when I wake up in the morning, um, I'll normally walk my dog and then I might eat or might have like a, a fruit smoothie. Um, you know, not that much protein, maybe like 24 grams of protein, just like one protein shake. I use a fruit smoothie for that. A bunch of fruits and some ice, some water. Um, maybe a tiny bit of juice. Uh, so my choice of juice right now has been a pomegranate juice or an apple cider, uh, real like true apple cider that I add to that and um, gives me some carbs for the morning. And then my conditioning looks is different from day to day. Sometimes it's just steady state. Uh, sometimes it's you know more like higher intensity intervals type stuff so whether it be some box runs with some sprints some abs some rower like using the rower machine I tend to change it up sometimes I'll do some skipping uh, what else have I done uh, Cybex machine stair climber uh, sometimes I've done just like a rock or a hike so it looks different from day to day and I'm enjoying that. Uh, what I normally do is just track my calories. I know it's not that accurate, but I have my smartwatch and it gives me a ballpark idea or I'll just use the machines and stuff. And uh, I've just kind of ramped up, ramped it up week after week. So right now my goal, every cardio session is to burn about 350 calories. Going into next week, um, I might be stepping that up to 450, 500, and then reducing my calories by 100 calories, maybe 50 to 100 calories per day. So that would equal a total daily um, reduction of 200 calories to 250 calories per day. And then you can see if that uh, continues the weight loss because it is starting to slow down now. Um, yeah, feel pretty good. Uh, Things do feel a little bit heavier. I don't know if it's because I have my training, the frequency of my training has been so spaced out. I've been really busy and stuff, so it's been a lot more spaced out. Um, and I'm having trouble getting to the gym, um, you know, consistently. But I am still going consistently. It's just not as frequent as I'd like. So that's happening. Um, what else can I say? Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I don't like again if you guys want to you know know more if you have any questions if there's any particular questions that you have or things that you want to see that I'm doing that I'm not showing uh, I'm just getting into this so I would love to hear and know what it is that you guys want to kind of know um, and I will do my best you know within good reason to try and help you guys with that and um, and maybe not even just help but just show be GP um, be uh, just to be open to show you kind of what I'm doing and maybe it will help you. So that's it for this week, guys. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for watching another episode of Getting Stronger After COVID of this series. Again, I think we have like two more weeks left, two or three more weeks left. 
and then that's it that's it it's a wrap i'm going to be switching completely over to bodybuilding style um and still trying to see if we can just recomp here get rid of some fat but still keep as much muscle as possible if not gain a tiny tiny bit it's going to be a lot more slower grind on the gain because i don't want to be gaining a bunch of fat with it so it's going to be a little bit of a slower grind and i'm totally okay with that i'm just at a point where i'm a lot more comfortable i only want to add a muscle in a couple of places and i'm more about just getting leaner now and keeping the muscle that i have and the strength that i have so um but yeah i'm going to try and show you guys how i do that and again, just learning more on what to bring to you guys for the content and uh, trying to make it as easy to follow along and to gain some knowledge and pick up whatever stuff you can along the way. Uh, I'm going to try and do that for you. Thanks again, guys. Take care and keep lifting. Stay cool. And we out. Cheers.